In Algebra 1, Section 8, um, 3, we're dealing with graphing quadratic equations. So now we're actually going to graph instead of just reading the graphs. Um, the first step into graphing them, you could do a table, but the table might take a while because um, sometimes you'll only get like part of the graph according to which numbers you choose. Like we, you know how we usually graph lines and we do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Um, but in th these steps will allow you to find um, what uh, how to do it without doing unnecessary work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find axis of symmetry. In order for me to do that, I have to label my A, negative 6 is my B, and C. So when I find here the axis of symmetry, um, I'm going to do negative B, so negative, and then B negative 6 over 2 times my A, which is 3. So the negatives cancel out to be positive 6 over 6, which is 1. So that means that positive 1 right here is my axis of symmetry. Right? <clears throat> so that means whatever's on this side is going to mirror whatever's on this side. So number two, it says to find the vertex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take number one and I'm going to plug it into the equation to find what y is. So y equals three times one squared minus six times one plus one, um, which will give me three one. Remember the squared only applies that one. So three times one minus six plus one gives me three minus 6 plus 1, 3, with 3 minus 6 is negative 3 plus 1, which would be negative 2. So my vertex, my x is 1, and my y is negative 2. Okay. So from here, I'm going to find... Um, 1, negative 2, so I'm going to do 1, negative 2. So this is my vertex. Now, um, I know because this is positive, this is going to be facing up, okay? But I need to know at least one point on each side in order to graph. So I'm going to find my y-intercept. So here's my x, and this is my y. So I'm going to plug in 0 for x. So y equals 3 times 0 minus 6 times 0 plus 1. This is 0, 0, so I'm left with just 1. So that means when x is 0, y is positive 1. This is 1 away from um, x. I mean, from the axis of symmetry, so that means on the other side, it's one away. So any point that I find on this side, I find the distance to the axis of symmetry, and I can mirror it, okay? Um, same thing if I find it on this side, I can mirror it on this side. Now that I have those points, I have one on each side, and I have the vertex. This is what my graph looks like. Now when you use graphing paper, it'll look a little bit better, but as long as you stick to those three steps, um, it should help you. Unless the axis of symmetry is in the, um, if the axis of symmetry is, is at the, the here, where exactly where y is, step three might be a little different. You just have to find a point, so plug in any number. It might not be zero, so you can plug in any number. Um, and then once you find that point, copy it on the other side. All right? So go ahead and write this down. I'm gonna try one more example. Right, so we're going to graph this, okay? My first step is to find the axis of symmetry. So this 1 is my A, negative 4 is my B, and this is my C. My axis of symmetry is negative B over 2A, okay? So negative B, negative, negative 4. We have the negative from here, and this negative 4 is from this. And then 2 times 1. Well, this is um, 4, it's positive 4 over 2 which is 2, right? My next step, right, is to then take this and plug it into the equation to find my vertex. 
So that means that negative 2, no, positive 2, this is my axis of symmetry. So whatever is on this side is going to mirror on this side. So my vertex, I'm going to plug in. I know that the x is 2. Now I have to figure out what the y is before I can find the vertex. So um, y equals 2 squared minus 4 squared minus 5. So 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 5. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Minus 5 is negative 9. So this is negative. It's 2 comma negative 9. So I'm going to do 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my vertex is here. Okay, my vertex is right here. Okay, so the other one, it says the last step is to put a zero. Um, but again, that only works if this is not here. So let's say that this is on right here. So I'm going to use any number. Um, let me try 1, because as long as I don't choose a number on the axis of symmetry, a number of 4x on the axis of symmetry, then um, I should be good. So I'm going to do y equals, I'm going to try x equals 1. Okay? So I'm going to plug in. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I just need to find a point on one of the sides so I can mirror on the other and I can connect the three dots, okay? So I have 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 5. So 1 minus 4 minus 5. This is negative 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Minus 5 is negative 8. So when this is 1, this is negative 8. And so if this is 1 away from the axis symmetry, so that means it's also negative 8 when it's on the other side. And then I can connect the three points. And that's what my parabola looks like. All right? So go ahead and try um, page 541, number 5, 541, number 5, and I will see you in class.